goodness, you're here, James. It's oh, very nice money, Penny. Don't you think it's a little over the top for the office? I've been trying to reach you all morning. What have you been up to? Well, rest and recreation, my darling. Well, the trip back from Siberia took a lot out of me. Your dedication when you're on the job is most commendable, James. Omit the customary pleasantries, Miss Moneypenny. We're pressed for time. I'll, uh, I'll fill you in later, Moneypenny. Ah! Uh -huh. Minister. Commander. Good morning, sir. A new pet queue? If 007, you'd ever bother to read any memo sent from my department, you would realize that this is a prototype of a highly sophisticated surveillance machine. Now that we're all here, you can get on with the briefing queue. Hey, good, sir. Gentlemen, a silicon integrated circuit. The essential part of all modern computers. No lecture queue. We're all aware of the usefulness of the microchip. Well, now, until recently, all microchips were susceptible to damage from the intense magnetic pulse of a nuclear explosion. Magnetic pulse? Yes, Minister. One burst in outer space over the UK and everything with a microchip in it, from, well, the modern toaster to the most sophisticated computers and our defense systems, would be rendered absolutely useless. We'd be paralyzed at the Russians' mercy. That is why one of our private defense contractors came up with this. A chip totally impervious to magnetic pulse damage. If I place it on the microcomparator and compare it with a chip that Commander Bond recovered from the body of 003 in Siberia... When I bring the two images together... They're identical. The KGB must have a pipeline into that research company. It would appear so. Six months ago, that company was acquired by an Anglo-French combine, Zorin Industries. I presume, sir, there has been a security check of the plant? Yeah, a very extensive one, but we have no leads. What about Zorin himself? Max Zorin, impossible. He's a leading French industrialist, a staunch anti-communist with influential friends in the government. Yes, but uh, with due respect, Minister, the leak did occur after Zorin bought the company. Precisely why I've already initiated an investigation. All right, but for heaven's sake, let's be discreet about it. But of course, Minister. You have exactly 35 minutes to get properly dressed, W7. Zorin's horse. Oh! With the cane. Is that Max Zorin? Yes. Born in Dresden. Fled from East Germany in the 60s. French passport. Speaks at least five languages. No accent. Now, the talk of the city and the boss. Come on, Luke! The old Reds to Riches story. He made his first fortune in oil and gas trading. Now a second in electronics and high tech. Who's that with him under the hat? With the red hey. dress. Girlfriend? Oh. Yeah, we're not sure about her. American. She's never far from him. Name's Mayday. Mm, dressed for the occasion. Oh! 